Hello again, this is Victor Fitzgerald, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to maintain and edit your grade reports um, so that you can prep those for the end of term at every term. Now, it is a little bit complicated because you're using an object-oriented coding structure uh, where you actually have to define some things. I actually find it easiest to maintain those documents um, actually with physical copies and a ruler so that you can actually measure and make sure that you know where everything is going. Now that being said, there are some articles in PowerSource that you're gonna want, um, and those are object-oriented uh, cheat sheets, uh, basically that show you how to use everything and what data access tags you're going to want to use. Now, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into PowerSchool. What you wanna do when you first enter PowerSchool and you're working on reports is you make sure that you navigate to the school that you want to do those reports in. If you're in the district office, you're not gonna have access to the reports that you're gonna want because we define those for each school. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the high school here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on system reports from the reports menu. Now once you're in here, you're gonna notice the system reports are all generated by the system. We have almost no flexibility in the way that those are created. ReportWorks is another development interface that you can use. We use them currently to print reports based on standards, um, but there's very little else that we use with them. They use a combination of SQL and data access tag reporting structure. So they're a little bit of a beast to understand, but they are immensely powerful. So keep that in mind if you're looking to revamp the way that we do our reporting. Where you're gonna spend most of your time though is in this setup. Um, why it's buried under setup, I really don't know. And what you're gonna do is, so you're in system reports, you're in setup, and you're gonna go ahead and click on object reports. Now, this is the list of object reports available to everyone with administrative access in the high school. Now, that being said, what you're gonna notice is that we actually have a pretty trim list of report cards. So we're gonna go in and look at it you see we have a semester report card for the high school. Now, the way that we can do that for the high school is based on a method called the Treadwell method, which I already have another video about, so feel free to take a look at that, but I'm also gonna show you that within our system. So when you select a report, what you're gonna notice is that you are presented immediately with just a ton of data. Now, what you're gonna notice is that you actually have to set up and define everything about the report that you are printing. So as we go down to the main report parameters, you're even deciding what size of paper you need to use and the name of the report. Okay. Now, when I go back to that report, you're gonna see a lot of things that we use. So the first is a picture, which is our school logo. Then we're using student photos, then we're gonna start getting into these data access tags. Okay, so we're adding a short date, uh, that's a tag in one specific way of using data access tags, and you're gonna see these, uh, the tilde method of using data access tags as well. So as you go through, you're gonna create boxes, you're gonna define locations exactly. And so make sure you have that ruler handy so you can measure out the exact position where you want to put that information. Now, as you continue through, you're gonna notice that we have kind of sorted things out so that we have the basic structure, we've got boxes with all of our information, and then we've got a transcript box at the bottom. Now, everything is layered, so keep that in mind. So right now I'm in layer zero for the kind of stock information or header. Then I'm in layer one for defining my boxes. Um, and these are kind of static information. They're the attendance summaries, the cumulative GPA for the students, um, and information that just continues to be static, um, what standards we're using and things like that. Where things are gonna get a little more dynamic is you're gonna notice that I have a couple things in the second layer, uh, which is our specific grade box. Um, you're gonna notice that the text for each of the grade boxes, you actually have to set it up as a table and you have to define it. So some familiarity with HTML coding is gonna help you a ton here, uh, just so that you know how to make those edits. 
All right, the last thing that we have in our report is this transcript item. And you're gonna notice that it's on layer 10. And the reason for that is I want it above everything so that nothing will interfere with the printing of those actual grades. Um, and we do a couple specific things when we print a transcript. Uh, so the first things you're gonna to wanna to know is that we include the teacher name, um, we've set and defined all of these through a lot of trial and error to make sure that these values are correct. So before you go and make a bunch of changes, uh, make sure that you know exactly what you're going to want. Okay. Once we have this report set up, though, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of things. Using the Treadwell method, we actually will restrict the grades to a credit type for the year. Um, and so that will be the 14-15 year. And what that will do is it will allow us to print all grades in one batch if we would like. We also want to make sure that we exclude blank grades from the table so that if a teacher is adding a grade for a club or something like that, uh, or something that just doesn't have a grade, uh, it won't print as a kind of line with the title and a blank grade. So that is kind of the basics of how we edit these reports. So once you have those reports set up, what you're going to do is print a report by selecting a student and going to the print report option in the left hand navigation. If you want to select and print reports for all students, uh, what you're going to do is select them by a grade level or by all students. And then you're going to select a function and go to print reports. Okay, once you've printed reports, you select the report you want to print and you can modify if you want to sort by a specific period, which we print by advisory groups, um, and then by enrollment date as well. And then when you hit submit, it will add this into the report queue. It will take some time to print those reports, so wait a good five minutes or so before that report is ready, and then you will have a PDF that you can send to the printers. If you have any questions about editing our reports or printing them for each student, Feel free to reach out to me directly or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for tuning in.